What is up, guys? It's Jake back with another loot crate. Oh, it's upside down. Another loot crate unboxing. All right, guys, you get first look. What is in there? I think there's a shirt. I feel a shirt. Okay, seems like we got a lot of good stuff in this crate. I wasn't too happy with last, last, I wasn't too happy with last crate, so hopefully this one turns out a little bit better. Starting off small, we got a, uh, for the loot pin, we got a Star Trek loot pin, most likely because Star Trek is coming out this month. Star Trek Online loot pins, that's pretty cool, that's a pretty awesome. Next, uh, I don't know if this is the next smallest one, but we have a Mega Man mini series figure. And I really don't know anything about Mega Man, so I cannot name anybody that's on here. So hopefully y'all can. But I'm going to open it up. We're going to see what's inside this beast. Oh, great. It's in reflective. Okay, who did I get? I got this guy. Uh, looks like Mega Man to me, but like, looks like a. I think this literally is Mega Man, actually. No, it's not. That's Mega Man, and it's blue, and he's blue. Yeah, I know that. So I don't know what the red one means, but pretty cool figure. Next is something that I'm actually really really excited about and hopefully it's good yes wubba dubba dub dub <laughs> rick and morty it's a rick and morty shirt i love rick and morty so much i'm so so pumped for season three coming i think like october or november but it's rick and morty wubba dubba dub dub next we have a this is a magnet it might be a Star Trek magnet, the next generation. Let's open it up. So it's like a plaque thing, but it has like a, is it a sticker? Okay, it's a sticker. It's not a magnet, it's a sticker. And it's like a USS Enterprise, which is the ship from Star Trek, you didn't know. And it just has a lot of the cast, like Gene Roddenberry, starting part of Starfleet Command, and he's the one that created Star Trek. So it's like a sticker, you can stick it onto something. I'm probably not gonna stick it onto anything because peeling it off would probably suck. Next, we have a comic book, 4001 AD by Valiant Comics and it's issue number one. Uh, I don't know what this is about, but I'll probably read it later. Seems like it's a pretty interesting little space. Oh my, he has a katana, I'm sold. Last but not least, we have the Planet Express ship from Futurama. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of Futurama. I really like Futurama, but I've only been able to watch, I think, two seasons or maybe three. But what I've seen is actually really, really good. It's really, really funny. Um, but this is the Planet Express ship. Let's open it up and like see how big it is. Okay, so you have the little stand. You just put the little plastic piece and shove it into the stand. And is it magnetic? See, it has like a little metal piece and that has a metal piece. So it might, <gasps> if I don't drop it first. So it might just magnetize on. Sick. And there it is. And you can twist it, I guess. You can have it face that way if you wanted to, or you can really do whatever way you want. That's cool. Whew. Time to put it on my little display shelf next to my bobbleheads. That's really cool. And that is all that is in the crate. There's nothing else. I really, really like this crate. I feel like they really stepped it up. Uh, they had Mega Man. They had... This comic, which looks really, really good, and I hope it's good. And then Rick and Morty, which is easily one of my favorite shows, like, ever. T-shirts. The, the, I think the weirdest thing was probably the plaque. 
That's probably like the weirdest thing in the bunch. And then the, the Futurama little ship. That's cool. Really, really like this crate. Really big step up and movement up, you know, glow up from the last one. Because the last one, I didn't really find that good. But they really nailed it this time. And that is, that is all. So guys, thank you for watching. Have fun and keep awesome.